going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and today we are going to be reviewing The Kingsman. Um, so I officially started taking notes during movies and semi-writing scripts, um, and giving more detailed rankings, to be honest. And Kingsman was the first one that I did to this for a movie. I started with the Pokemon series, obviously, because I have to watch it every night to keep up with you guys. But, uh, yeah. So... Let's go ahead and talk about Kingsman. This movie um, is from 20th Century Fox, which means it is now currently Disney owned. And it starts in 1997, where we see um, basically a introduction of the Kingsman during a war in the Middle East. And due to um, the main Kingsman that we don't get the name of yet, uh, but it's Galahad, or Harry, um, forgets to check about a grenade on the person they're interrogating and his friend jumps onto the body and saves everybody's lives. Turns out that is our main kid character aka Eggsy's father who died at that. We see him come in and give Eggsy the, uh, the pennant for the Kingsman and then we cut to current day where we get to see Mark Hamill of all people which I was very shocked to see and uh he is tied down and everything and a Kingsman comes in to try to save him. It's a very cool action scene and everything like that. But then he gets cut in half by a girl named Gazelle with that has knife legs or sword legs. Um, and Samuel L. Jackson is the villain. Which is great because I always wanted to see Mace Windu and Luke Skywalker share a scene together. And then we cut to the Kingsman. Where Michael Caine is, of all people. I was so happy to see Michael Caine too. Um, we kind of get to see some stuff with the Kingsman's tech, like their glasses can have a heads-up display that can project holograms as well, and we find out that each Kingsman, official Kingsman, is named after a Knight of the Round Table, led by Michael Kang's Arthur. Um, and there are only ten Kingsmen at a time from counting the chairs, that's what I figured out. Um, we then return to Eggsy, who is now in his 20s, I believe, and he is has his life in shambles. Uh, we get told that he's been doing drugs, getting arrested. Um, his, he hijacks a car in one of his first scenes, um, and his mom married some abusive jerk guy and everything like that. So yeah, and he's unemployed and stuff like that. But in that one, with that aforementioned carjacking, he, uh, we get to see a reverse car chase with, chase with the cops, which is really, really cool. And um, that's where he meets Harry, where um, he calls the phone number on the back of the pennant, says the code word, and, and they get him out of jail. And Harry shows up and talks with Eggsy and ends up... Um, kind of telling him that, yeah, your dad saved my life, um, and I'm forever appreciative, and he puts his hand on the back of him and ends up bugging him, and it kind of turns into a test to see if he would rat out the Kingsman, because we get the famous manners maketh man scene, um, the first one, not the second one, <laughs> but yeah, and um, so Eggsy's getting almost beat up by his stepfather, and Harry ends up saving him. Which then we get introduced to like the selection process of the Kingsmen and the tests, and we get to meet Merlin, who I thought was like a Q character from James Bond, but he's a lot more than that. And uh, they are all going to go through training to become the next Lancelot. And then we get more introduction into Samuel J L. Jackson's character, which he has a very like thick lisp, which I found hilarious. And uh, he also. Um, is somebody that has a good point as a villain that humans are the one destroying the earth but I mean again going through it the wrong way like Killmonger and everything he also has this funny quirk where he can't see violence but he's a very violent person um, and we get to see the first test of the Kingsmen which is they flood the bedroom and they have to find a way out um, and then Colin Firth, or Harry, sorry, Colin Firth plays Harry. Harry goes to interrogate Mark Hamill, 
and as soon as there's like a like sign that Mark Hamill's gonna say anything, they blow up his head. Um, and then we get to the next test, which is that they have to pick a puppy to raise. And right when that happened, I'm like, oh no, because I've seen Agents of Shield. <laughs> And I knew where that was going, and I was like, no, 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 I can't do this. Um, and we find out, then it skips back to Samuel L. Jackson, who has um, brainwashing chips that cause people to become violent, um, that are free SIM cards to put in their phones. Um, and we have Harry infiltrate um, to kind of figure out what's going on, and Samuel L. Jackson cancels the gala. And since there he goes, like, yeah, I got you, um, I got you some very special food and everything. And you're, like, sitting there thinking, like, they're gonna open it and it's, uh, the guy that just died that got cut in half, like, part of his body or something, and it's McDonald's. <laughs> and that made me laugh because it made me think of, uh, the whole Donald Trump thing where he brought the McDonald's to <laughs> the, what you call it. Um, but yeah, and then they kind of talk to each other knowing who they truly are without saying who they truly are which was great um but then samuel L. jackson ends up his name's valentine in it sorry valentine ends up bugging harry to see like what's going on and they kind of play like the spy game of it and we get to see all the cool weapons um that the kingsmen have uh as Igzy's getting his suit and then as he's getting his suit, they walk out and there is um, Valentine. And he says probably my favorite line in the movie, which is, y'all talk so funny. <laughs> it just cracked me up. And then we get to the next scene where they're interviewing the last two contendants for joining the Kingsmen being Eggsy and Roxy. And I was right. You're like, oh, your dog's so great, shoot it. And, like, we get this, like, intense scene where, like, we can't tell if Eggsy's gonna do it or not, and he ends up not doing it. And then we hear in the background a gunshot knowing that Roxy shot her dog. And he turns in the, uh, gun, and they say, go home. You're not part of it anymore. And, um, then when he gets there, he talks to, um... Harry, and Harry goes, the person that drowned in your first test was not um, a actual person, that was an actor, they didn't die, and then they did a airdrop scene earlier and said that one of them didn't have a parachute, but they all had parachutes, and then they said that the, he said that the gun was a blank, that the dog would have lived. So, it was all just making sure that you're willing to do what you have to do and then uh, we get the famous racist church scene where here he goes on a killing spree because they test the uh the aggressive thing and it's a very cool scene it's very well choreographed and everything like that probably the best scene in the movie um and then he gets shot point blank by samuel L. jackson who's like has to turn away because he can't stand violence um, and then we find out basically in the next scene that Michael Caine's character, King Arthur, was corrupt. He had the chip in his head that uh, everybody else did. And then he tries to kill Iggy, but Iggy switches the glasses, thus making him kill himself. And then we go to the final Bond area, the Ice Mountain base that has all the world leaders and everything. And we get like this huge fight scene, and then they're about, Iggy's about to get rushed by everybody. Um, and they turn on all the implants and everybody's head blows up, which also all the world leaders heads blow, which means that there's literally nobody leading the world after this. Um, and then Valentine's thing gets, ha happens and, um, there's mass mayhem around the world and they have to try to stop the Kingsman stop it but Iggy has to fight the woman with uh the sword legs named gazelle and he ends up using this movie was great at doing Chekhov's gun because every weapon that you saw him getting exposed to in that weapons room he used and uh 
I forgot that they said that the blade on the shoe was poisonous. And he cuts uh, Gazelle, and she's poisoned. And he takes her, um, <laughs> her, ampu- the the fake leg that has the sword, and throws it into Valentine. In, or Valentine, and that's how Valentine dies. And then Eggsy gets with the princess, and the movie ends. Then we get back to him doing the manners make of man scene to save his mom. So. I loved the movie. I have to, I'll give you five main scores and then the overall score. So cinematography was a nine out of 10. Script was an eight out of 10. Story was a nine out of 10. Characters were a 10 out of 10. And VFX were a seven out of 10. There were some weak points with explosions and stuff like that where it didn't look that good. Um, So I gave it an overall score of an 8.6 out of 10. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow me on all my social media down below. It's that nerd Ryan telling you. Have an amazing day.